Alright guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about catch combos or you could call it chaining Pokemon if you want. That's pretty much what it was called in the past. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you all the ins and outs and all the do's and don'ts of catch combos in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm actually on a combo of 31 for Nidoran right now. So let me explain to you what catch combos actually are. A catch combo is when you pick a Pokemon that you would like to capture. So for this uh, scenario, we're going to use Nidoran, since that's what I already have. And you just catch that same Pokemon over and over and over until you get to a catch combo of 31. Uh, this is very useful for hunting shinies because once you reach a catch combo of 31, that is your max chances of finding a shiny out in the wild. Um, I will put the numbers down in the link below in the description. So basically uh, with the shiny charm on top of that your odds are even higher to find a shiny. So since we got all these Pokemon popping up right here uh, I'm gonna explain these little aura things while this is on the screen. So if you see the Nidoran over here with the red aura, the orangish kind of red aura, uh, that's gonna be a large Nidoran. So they, they vary in sizes so the blue ones are going to be small Pokemon and what that means is you get a slight experience boost from the small or large Pokemon so if you're actually chaining Pokemon for experience uh, let's say you're just in the beginning of the game and you're catch comboing a Pokemon over and over and over to level up then that's what you're going to want to go for is the red ones those are going to give you the most XP those are going to be the best ones to go for and sometimes they are a little harder to catch um, I'm not sure what really determines that. I don't think there's any info, info on what determines that. But uh, both the small and large Pokemon give you a bonus, but the large Pokemon is going to be the better bonus. So since we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some uh, things that you shouldn't do while you're doing a catch combo. So things that you shouldn't do, uh, obviously is try to catch another Pokemon that is outside of the Pokemon that you're looking for unless you just find like a random shiny while you're in the middle of a catch combo that's not the Pokemon you're looking for and you want to catch it uh, that will break your combo by the way but I mean a shiny is a shiny if you want to go after it then go after it that's the best thing to do um, another thing is turning off your Nintendo switch that will break your combo now you can save the software and you can you can go to the home screen and you can sleep the switch without exiting the software that will not break your combo but turning off the switch altogether like powering it completely off or closing the game that will break your combo so those are things you don't really want to do while you're in a catch combo and last but not least um, the last thing that will break your combo is if you're in a combo with a Pokemon and you're in a session trying to catch that said Pokemon and it flees from you if a Pokemon runs from you that you are comboing or any other Pokemon that you run into flees from you that automatically breaks your combo so if you run into like a Pidgey or a Rattata or something that you're not trying to find in your combo you can simply just run so I'll go ahead and show you that we're gonna run into this Rattata over here I'm just going to run into the Rattata. I'm still on the catch combo for Nidoran, so we don't want Rattata. We're just going to run away. And that's all you got to do. You can do this over and over and over. It does not hurt your combo. So now let's go ahead and go to another Nidoran real quick so that I can demonstrate that it does not break the combo. So we're going to try to catch this. Hopefully it goes in the first time. And we shall see what it says, even though it probably just said it on the top left part of the screen. Just want to make sure. Uh, it will show that we are indeed still in a catch combo for Nidoran. So that's a good little tip uh, just to remember when you're catch combo. And if you run into a Pokemon that you don't want and one that you're not looking for, you can simply just run away from it. Now, if that Pokemon runs away from you, like if you leave the screen on and you go to the restroom or something like that, uh, that will break your combo, even if it's not the Pokemon that you are chaining. So now that we got that out of the way, Let's talk about items that you should have uh, while you're catch comboing. So the best items to have while you're doing catch combos, uh, the best items are going to be lures. So there are lures, super lures, and max lures. 
Now the difference between these three lures are the amount of steps you can take before it runs out. It has nothing to do with how rare the Pokemon are going to be. Uh, has nothing to do with anything like that. It just lasts longer. So it basically makes rare Pokemon more likely to appear. Um, so let's say you got a catch combo of 11. Now you're going to be more likely to see Pokemon like Chansey. You're going to be more likely to see Pokemon that's on your route that might be rare spawns like Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Uh, depending on where you're at, there are a lot of rare spawn Pokemon that exist. So just so I can explain the uh, lures, that's what they do. Uh, also, you're going to want tons of Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, just whatever kind of ball you need to use for... The Pokemon that you're trying to catch. Uh, the one I'm doing right now literally just requires Pokeballs. Like you don't need anything special. Although I would recommend using like a more powerful ball to catch like a shiny if you find one. Just to give you that extra guarantee that it's going to stay in the ball. Because you don't want it running away from you. So those are, those are the basic tips for doing catch combos in Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Now we're going to go into some little bit more advanced stuff. So, uh, it has been recently discovered that each route in Pokemon, they actually have spawn caps of Pokemon that are able to spawn on each route. And that actually affects your shiny hunting because if you're maxed out on Pokemon that's able to run around here, uh, you're not really going to get any new spawns to be able to have that chance for the reroll for your Pokemon to have a chance to be shiny. So on this route, it's pretty good. I think it's like uh, 10 Pokemon or something like that. I'll actually put a link in the description with all these numbers because it's easier just to let you guys look at this stuff rather than put it on the screen. Uh, it's not my information. Most of it's going to come from Cerebi.net. It's not anything I discovered. Um, now the shiny methods, uh, I have discovered some of this on my own, although there's 50 million videos about it. I have been playing this game since day one. I've done a lot of extensive testing. I've done days and days and hours upon hours of just comboing and I found probably five or six shinies in this game already. So I know what I'm talking about. Just make sure you pay attention to the video. That way you know um, what's going on. So anyway, back to the uh, spawn caps. The best way to battle the spawn caps and also you don't have to stop your catch combo at 31 if you don't want to you can totally just keep catching Pokemon uh, the best way to reset your spawn caps is essentially just going to be leave the area you can leave the area without penalizing yourself it will not break your combo if you leave the area so we're gonna get on top of Arcanine here and just go for a ride really quick and we're just gonna leave the area really fast uh, it also helps sometimes like if you're by a route that has like one of the outposts or like the buildings that go to the next area just go in and out of the building really quick so you can see that like most of the spawns have reset here and now there's only like two or three Pokemon so yeah they'll start spawning again pretty fast especially if you have a lore active uh, the lures are going to be your best friend for that so that's why it's good to use those Although it is not necessary to use a lure while you are catch comboing, but it does definitely help out a lot because it gives you a lot more spawns. Uh, also, one more thing to note is that when you're in a catch combo, not only does it increase the chance for the Pokemon you are doing a combo with to be shiny, but it basically increases the chance for any Pokemon to be shiny like anywhere you can actually leave the area while you're on a catch combo and go to another area and you'll notice that rare pokemon will show up like chansey uh like the ones i mentioned before bulbasaur charmander squirtle uh just whatever comes out on the route you're on you'll notice that um if you're on any type of catch combo with any pokemon those rare pokemon will show up so you want to keep that in mind if you're looking for a certain shiny uh, you can totally just combo somewhere real easy like right here and just catch a bunch of Pidgeys or catch a bunch of Caterpies in Viridian Forest and get your catch combo all the way up to 31. Now there is a catch to that though. While you might be able to get another shiny Pokemon that's not the Pokemon you're comboing, that Pokemon will not have the chance to have the high IVs of the Pokemon that you're comboing however so if you're trying to get that competitive Pokemon if you're trying to get that Pokemon that has the good stats 
uh, you're gonna want to just stick to trying to find the shiny that you're actually doing the combo for just a little piece of advice there because uh, you will see some other shinies that you're not looking for while you're doing this there's been several times where I've tried and tried and tried to chain or combo Ponyta and twice now I've gotten a shiny Doduo. I actually ran from it the second time because I was going to see if it affected my race any. In which I, let, needless to say, I comboed all the way up to like 260 and I never once again seen a shiny during that combo. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Uh, just my one number alone won't be able to prove that. But I will say that I did have some pretty bad luck with it. So that's kind of another thing I can cover. Um, okay, this is being really difficult and it's about to run because it did that animation that it just did right there. So we're just going to leave that alone. And that's another thing that I want to get into. So Pokemon, you can actually tell when a Pokemon's getting ready to run from you. And I'll try to demonstrate that here by running into another Nidoran. If you watch Nidoran's animations here, he jumps and then he does that little like... Uh, that little gnawing thing with his teeth. So as long as he's doing those two animations, he's fine. If he does the other animation where he puts his like front paw down and then just kind of screams at you without doing the thing with his teeth, then your best bet is to just hit the run away button really fast because you can actually run away from the Nidoran and then not break your combo. So that's another tip that you want to follow because you can keep your chain going for a really long time and you can run away from Pokemon that you're comboing and it does not count against you. So keep that in mind when you're throwing Pokeballs like endlessly at a Pokemon and it just won't stay in even with berries. Uh, just run away from it. Just run away from it and then find another one. So I'll demonstrate that right here in a sec. We're just going to uh, get another Nidoran really quick. And then I will simply just run away from it and I will show you that it does not break your combo. So this is going to be kind of like the last little thing we talk about honestly because there's not a whole lot to shiny hunting in this game. It's very basic. Uh, there's a lot of people making a big fuss about what works and what doesn't. I've seen several different methods mentioned. I've tried several different methods. Pretty much every method has worked for me. You can hover over the Pokemon. Uh, if you've beaten the game... I'll show you this. If you've already beaten the Elite Four, you can get on a Pokemon like Charizard or uh, Dragonite. And you can actually fly around up here with these guys. And if you're low on money and you don't have a lot of money for lures, you can kind of just hover over these guys. And just kind of watch what spawns. And you don't have to move around a lot. So you can take less steps by just clearing the area. And just leaving and coming back. And then you can just continue to hover here. And stuff will spawn, if, as you can see down there below. Uh, actually, I just shook my Pokeball Plus there. Uh, yeah, so you can see that stuff is spawning. It does spawn a lot better if you move around. So as you notice, I'm moving around a lot more stuff showing up. That's why it's better to have like a Pokemon like Persian or something small that you can run around on, on the ground. Because the flying is not that effective on certain routes. So, I mean, there's not a lot to Shiny Honey. There's pretty much just... Don't do anything to break your combo. You can go buy Pokeballs. You can go fight gyms. You can re you can do your daily gym rematches. You can go to Elite Four. You can grind money. Uh, as long as you're not catching any other type of Pokemon, as long as you're catching that same Pokemon over and over, you can't break your combo by doing other things. You can completely leave the area and then come back. You can also evolve Pokemon. Like if a Pokemon evolves in your party from leveling up, even though it's considering you getting a new Pokemon, you didn't catch it with a Pokeball. So that does not break your combo as well. So there's tons of stuff that you can do while you're shiny hunting. You can just take a break. Like if you get frustrated, you don't have to break your combo. You can just walk away and go do something else and then come back to it later. So I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope that um, you guys can find a lot of shinies by using this method. And if you liked the video and found it informative, please leave a like, subscribe, and then ring my bell so you get notifications for when I upload a video or go live. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.